Hi, I'm Devin with Math Mentors, and today I'm going to talk to you about multiplying complex numbers. So the way you would multiply complex numbers is the same kind of way you would multiply polynomials or, you know, um, functions, right? So let's assume, well, the method I use is called the box method, and I'm going to show it to you today. So, of course, we have a plus bi, and that's times a plus bi. Of course, these are, these are separate, right? So the way I would solve this is by doing a, you can put the plus sign if you want, bi, create a little box under it, just like this. Ooh, boy, can I not make straight lines? A little bit of a box like that, and then a plus bi. And you might be able to see a little bit what I'm getting at here. So here we have a times a. And of course, these, these would be different a's. It wouldn't be a squared. Um, so we have a times a. We have a times bi. a times bi. And bi times bi. So let's let's put an example, right? So and And when you do this, you would add all of these together and you find like common units and everything like that. So let's create an example. Let's say we have a, something simple. Uh, two plus two i in parentheses times, mm, let's say three plus four i. So let's create our box. We have two plus two i. It doesn't matter um, what order you do them in because you'll get the same result. 2 plus 2i, create our little box. That'll work. And then 3 plus 4i. So we have 2 times 3, 6. 3 times 2i, which is 6i. 2 times 4i, which is 8i and 2i times 4i. Now this might be where it gets a little tricky. So we have 2 times 4, which is 8. But then we have i times i. Now from, if you remember, i equals the square root of a negative 1. So when you do i times i, that equals the square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative 1. And remember, when you, when you uh, do the square of a square root, you get what's inside it. So i squared equals negative 1. So we have 8 times negative 1, which of course is negative 8. Negative 8, just like that. So now we add everything in the box. So we have 6 plus 6i plus 8i minus 8. Or you can say plus negative 8 if you prefer. So now we add like terms. So remember, we can't add a number without i to a number with i, just like variables, right? So let's find our like terms. We have these, and then we have these. So let's add our constants first. 6, 6 plus negative 8. 6 plus negative 8 is the same thing as 6 minus 8, which is negative 2. And then we have 6i plus 8i. Since they're both positive, we just have 14i. So our final answer would be negative 2 plus 14 I. I hope this gave you some insight on multiplying complex numbers. Ooh. <laughs> and I hope you have a good rest of your day.